Hey, it's Tom and Mike from Take Time to Travel. Living in Montreal was an incredible experience that we're thankful we had the opportunity to do. While we were living there, we got to see and do quite a bit in the beautiful city. Today, we're going to share with you some of our favorite Montreal experiences so that hopefully you can get some idea on what to do on your trip to Montreal. We'll show you some of Montreal's top attractions and best things to do. From what to do in the historic streets of Old Montreal, as well as in the picturesque Le Plateau neighborhood, to some scenic nature walks. And of course, we couldn't make a Best of Montreal video without including some of Montreal's many art and history museums, as well as showing Montreal's stunning centuries-old architecture, some of Montreal's many lively street festivals, and its phenomenal food. So, without further ado, let's dive right into our Montreal Travel Guide. We'll start with the charming and historic streets of Old Montreal. Make sure to take a leisurely stroll down Rue St. Paul, which is lined with lots of pretty little shops, restaurants, and patios. Rue St. Paul will take you over to Place Jacques Cartier, which is another one of Old Montreal's picturesque streets lined with lots of bistros, patios, as well as many caricature artists for a unique Montreal keepsake. It's quite a popular square in Old Montreal that's great for pictures and food. Just off Place Jacques Cartier is another must-see spot in Old Montreal that's perfect for your Instagram photos. Flower Alley is absolutely stunning in the summertime and is definitely worth the time to check out. Just like most of the streets in Old Montreal, there's also some shops and restaurants. The streets of Old Montreal are also filled with gorgeous architecture with ornate moldings, some of which are many stories tall. Wow, incredible! They just don't make buildings like they used to anymore, do they? All the buildings are incredible! but you definitely have to make sure to check out the Notre Dame Basilica of Montreal. Place d'Armes, the square in front of the basilica, is a great spot to relax on a hot summer day and listen to some live music from one of the talented street performers. It's also the perfect spot for a nice view of the Notre Dame Basilica. You can also head inside to check it out. We decided to get tickets for the Aura Light Show, which costs $34 per person, to experience an incredible immersive performance where they project a light show accompanied by music onto the stunning altarpiece, walls, and vaulted ceiling of the Basilica for a one-of-a-kind, memorable experience. If you're interested in history, then make sure to head over to the Montreal Museum of Archaeology and History located in this modern building here. The museum showcases some of the foundations of where Montreal was born centuries ago. It's pretty cool to be able to walk through the ruins. In one of the exhibits, you can even walk through a centuries-old sewer system with some neat changing lighting. There's also another exhibit that has some remains of the foundations from some buildings which were here hundreds of years ago accompanied by neon lights and narration to help you understand what different structures occupied the land over the centuries. Overall, we really liked the museum. After the museum, make sure to walk down Rue de la Commune and check out Montreal's Old Port. It's a great place to go for a stroll on a hot summer day to check out Old Montreal's Old Port architecture. A popular destination to check out in Old Montreal's Old Port is the Bon Secours Market. This neoclassical style building originally opened in 1847. Its uses over the years have ranged from a legislative assembly to city hall to a farmer's market. It's now a multi-purpose facility with a mall that houses cafes, restaurants and boutiques as well as some municipal office space. In the summer, you might even be lucky enough to stumble across a talented street performer. 
performing outside the Bon Secours market, like we did. She was performing a choreographed dance on a rolling clothes hanger, which was the first time we'd seen anything like that. Let's check it out. We think that this performance had something to do with Cirque du Soleil, but we're not 100% sure. It's incredible how she can move like that and do that performance on a moving clothes hanger. What a phenomenal dancer. What do you think, Mike? Could you do that? Not a chance. If you head inside the Bon Secours market, you'll find lots of shops and boutiques. But let's keep going and check out some more of Montreal's Old Port. If you aren't afraid of heights, make sure to check out La Grande Rue de Montréal, Canada's largest observation wheel, which stands 60 meters high. After I purchased my ticket for $25.87, it was time to head over to my own private car. As you continue up the Ferris wheel, you get phenomenal views over the St. Lawrence River, downtown Montreal, Old Montreal, Montreal's Old Port, and you can even see Mont Royal through the buildings. Mont Royal is another great spot to get stunning views over all of Montreal. Whether it's in the fall, spring, or summer, Mont Royal is a great place to go to take a leisurely scenic hike and take in all the beautiful nature. Although, as a personal preference, I think that fall hikes might be the most beautiful. Another great spot to go for a stroll in Montreal is Parc La Fontaine. Located in Le Plateau Mont-Royal, it's the perfect spot to walk or relax and have a picnic on a hot summer's day. Another green and leafy area in Montreal's Le Plateau that you have to check out is some of the many Ruelles Verts, which means green alleys. No cars can drive down these Ruelles Verts since at some point the neighborhood got together to convert the back alley into a lush green oasis. Montreal is such a beautiful city. Where else can you see a back alleyway this pretty? We also really enjoyed just walking down the green and leafy streets of the Le Plateau neighborhood. The streets are filled with so many beautiful centuries-old buildings like these gorgeous ones around Square Saint-Louis and these stunning ones on adjacent Laval Street, which we'd be more than happy to stay in if anyone has a place available. After you check out Square Saint-Louis, make sure to head across the street to Rue Prince Arthur to try one of the many popular patios. There are lots of different food options on Rue Prince Arthur. There's everything from barbecue to French Bistro, and there's even Greek. There's something for everyone. When in Montreal's Le Plateau, you also have to check out its incredible street art, which seems to be everywhere you look. If you're looking for something fun and free to do on Sunday in Montreal's Le Plateau, you can head over to the monument to Sir George Etienne Cartier for Tam Tams, where strangers get together to play assorted types of bongos and drums. It was super hot when we filmed, so the turnout was smaller than usual, but we've heard it's lots of fun. If you're looking for another fun and free activity in Montreal, make sure to check out one of the many street festivals, like Le Plateau's Mural Festival, which is an annual street art festival, where they turn St. Laurent Boulevard into a walking street, and all of the stores and restaurants set up shop along the road. And various artists create some new beautiful street art in the city, like this giant rooster here. Another fun street festival in Montreal is Festival Fierte, which is Montreal's Pride Festival. People come to the city from all over the world for this wonderful event. This was filmed during the Pride Parade 2021, which was quite a memorable experience. There was beautiful weather, the patios were packed, and we really enjoyed ourselves. Make sure to go early, like we did if you want to grab a good spot on a patio. 
to leisurely have a couple of beers and a bite to eat and watch the Pride Parade go by. Some more great festivals happening in Montreal are the international festivals Nuit d'Afrique and the Montreal Jazz Fest, which have cool events happening all over the city. Sometimes in Montreal, you'll even run into random mini street festivals with artists and street performers like these marching drummers here, playing along Rue saint catherine The Golden Mile and Rue saint catherine are lined with lots of high-end shops and boutiques that have everything you could possibly want. The Golden Mile has lots of beautiful art galleries and museums, like the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts or the Musée des Beaux-Arts de Montréal, which has constantly changing exhibits from world-renowned artists. If you're looking for some less traditional art, then head over to the Palais de Congrès and check out the Richargé Immersive Experience. The space features multiple different rooms, each displaying different digital artwork and projections, covering 360 degrees around the walls and on the floors, which takes you in a unique immersive experience. You can lay down or sit down and watch the trippy art however you want. But on a nice hot summer day, you might want to head outside and check out Montreal's La Chine Canal. You can kayak, take a paddle boat, or take a stroll down the pathway beside the canal, all the way over to the canal lounge for a nice cold drink, which is the perfect way to spend an afternoon. Cheers! Just beside the Lachine Canal and the Canal Lounge is Atwater Market, which is filled with all different kinds of fresh local fruits, vegetables, as well as meats and cheeses of all different varieties. Another popular spot with lots of great food is Montreal's Chinatown. There are so many delicious options to choose from, from fresh hand-pulled noodles to some delectable and authentic dumplings and even some tasty and messy Korean-style hot dogs, which we got along Rue de la Gauchetière's walking street. And of course, in a Best of Montreal video, you have to include some of its amazing food. Some of the must-tries include poutines from La Banquise, which are hearty and delicious, as well as Montreal smoked meat sandwich from Schwartz's Deli and L'Express's Ile Flottant au Caramel, which means Caramel Floating Island. We could keep going on and on about our favorite restaurants in Montreal, but we made a whole separate video on it, which we'll link in the description section down below. Well, we hope you enjoyed our Montreal travel guide and that it gave you one or two ideas on what to do on your trip to Montreal. If it did, we'd really appreciate it if you would like subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications on our future videos. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm and it helps our channel to grow. And remember, take time to travel. Catch you on the next one.